Good morning. Pleasure to see you this morning and to practice yoga with you. Today's class is going to be on strength and balance. And again, this time of year in Chinese medicine, the energy is earth. Earth gives us strength, gives us balance. And balance gives us strength because we're using like one leg to balance on or our hands to balance on. We're not using as many limbs as usual to ba uh, when we're balancing. So that develops strength in the supporting limbs. So strength and balance is our intention for today's class. I hope you enjoy it. So let's start sitting up nice and tall. Riddle the buttocks flesh away. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. And if you like, close your eyes. Coming into a nice strong pyramid shape, the most stable shape in the universe. And as you breathe in, draw earth energy up from your sitting bones into your body. As you breathe out, breathe down through your sitting bones into the earth. Feel the stability of your shape. Feel the balance of both sides of your body. And to create balance, instead of sitting in easy pose, if it works for you, we're gonna sit in trapezoids. So your feet are together but they're not close in like in cobbler pose. You're making a nice big diamond. So just see if that works for you. Rest your hands on your knees or if you need to support yourself on the floor. If this doesn't work, go back to easy pose. So again, closing your eyes, feeling your stability. You're no longer in a triangle shape. Now you're in a diamond shape, so it's not as stable but you're more balanced. Take some nice slow breaths. Connecting with the breath, a nice balanced flow of breath. If you can, five seconds in. And five seconds out. and open your eyes. And again, if this is starting to be too much, you can put something under your knees or come back to easy pose, whichever works for you. Sitting up nice and tall, drawing the pelvic floor up, the abdominals up, the shoulders back and down. Let's just lower the chin. And breathe into the back of the neck, the upper shoulders. And then to create balance, we're going to lift the chin, stretching the neck towards the ceiling. I'm coming back to center. Let's lower one ear to the shoulder. Bring your hand to your head and bring yourself back up. Inhale tall and lower your ear the other way. Come 
and then bring your hand to your head and come back up. And look over your shoulder. And back the other way. back to center. Let's squeeze the shoulders up to the ears and drop them down to the side. And one more. And let's interlace the hands and press them out, shoulders down and bring the hands back in. So we're working the shoulders, elbows, wrists, and fingers. And now interlace your hands some weird way to create some balance. And reach out. Exhaling out, inhaling in. And just rest your hands on your heart, feel your heart beating. and release. Let's stretch out the legs. Sit up nice and tall. We'll squeeze and spread the toes. And point and flex the feet. and circle the ankles. And circle back the other way. And windshield wiper the legs. And let's bring our legs about mat width apart, nice and wide, sit up nice and tall. Draw the pelvic floor and the belly up, shoulders back and down. And we'll rock back, rounding the spine. And inhale forward, lifting the chest and stretching up. Exhaling back, rounding the spine. Inhaling forward. So we're rocking back on our sitting bones, drawing the belly in and rounding the body. And then rocking forward on the sitting bones and lifting the chest. And come back to a nice tall position. Bring your hands behind you and a little windshield wiper the legs. Turn the legs to one side. 
Sitting up, let's walk ourselves around, looking over the shoulder. You can stay here or come down onto your elbows. Continue looking in the direction you're twisting away from your knees. You come all the way down onto your cheek and elbows, forearms. Spinning your belly towards the floor. And we'll inhale back up and flip the knees over the other way. And walk yourself around. Look over your shoulder towards your foot. You can stay here or come down onto your elbows. Come all the way down onto your arms with your cheek on your hands. Spinning your belly and your rib cage towards the floor. And inhale back up and stretch your legs out. Get nice and tall, just shake them out. Good job. Let's come over onto our hands and knees. into our nice balanced table position. So take a moment to feel your weight even on each hand and on your legs so you're not too far forward onto your hands or too far back onto your legs. Your balance is even on hands and legs. And then on your hands, you're not just on your heels, you're even on the full circle of your palm. Really suction cup in Section cup your hands down to the floor and lift up nice and tall. Let's take a nice deep breath and begin to come into our cat and dog. Focus is our weight even on our hands and legs, even on the right and left sides of our body. Let's come back to a nice neutral spine. Send your right leg out behind you and cross it over. And then press your ear and shoulder towards your foot. Let's bring that leg back. Take a breath, send your opposite leg out, cross it over, and then press your ear and shoulder towards your foot. Let's inhale back into table. We'll come into our spinal twist. Let's inhale, reaching up. And exhale down. And if you'd like to do the balancing variation, you're going to send your leg out behind you. Press actively into your arm and your hand to give you the stability that you need. And then lift that leg up. And the trick here is to press your hip forward and your leg back. That will give you the balance. 
Maybe come onto your fingers, tuck your chin and look up, and maybe you even feel like coming all the way up into a balance and pose. It's okay if you fall out. And come on back down. Good job. Inhale through and stretch up. And we'll go the other way. Take a breath. Inhale, open. And exhale, slide through. If you'd like to do the balancing variation, send your leg out behind you. Tuck your chin and look up. Raise that leg. Again, the trick is to press the hip forward and the leg back, creating a nice, long, strong line. And when you feel safe, raising your arm. And slowly come out of that. Inhale up. And come back into child and take it in. You can have your arms in front of you or behind you. When you're ready, come back into your table pose. We're gonna do our sunbird balance. If you prefer, you can always work on your forearms or elbows on blocks. Let's send the right leg out and back once again and lift that leg up. So we're pressing out through the heel and creating a long, strong line. Lift the belly for support. Find your focal point between your hands. Bring your opposite arm alongside your ear if that works for you. Plug your shoulder into the socket, your hip into the socket. Reach out. Feel your strength and your balance. Let's come on back down. Let's bring that leg in. A little shimmy. And we'll do the other side. Send that other leg out. Inhale it up. Take a breath and stretch out through the heel. Engage the leg. Engage the abdominals. Focal point. Arm. Hug that shoulder in. Hug the hip in. Reach out. Slow five count breath. Balancing the breath. Drawing strength up from the earth. And down and down and relax back into child. We're gonna do a lot of work on our hands. So let's do some circling. Again, if your wrists get tired, just work on your forearms instead. All right, let's give our wrists a break by coming into a lunge. We'll bring the right foot through and bring those hips forward and down. Coming up onto your fingertips. Take some nice deep breaths here. And a variation we're going to go into, if you like, if you can, to lift your foot up off the floor with the foot flexed. Dropping those hips would be a nice stretch here. You should be warmed up enough. If you can do that variation, go for it. And let's put the foot back down and reach back, lifting the front toes up. Bowing over the leg. Let's 
Come forward one more time. We'll drop the hips down. And if you like lifting the foot, creating a little more stretch in the front of your hips, opening up the fascia, opening the joints, breathing into that stretch. It's beautiful. And let's bring that back down and we'll change sides. Feel that nice opening in the hip. Mm. Let's bring the other foot through. Walk it forward if you can and bring your hips forward and down. Coming onto your fingertips. Nice even breaths. And if you can, we're picking that foot up and opening the front of the other hip. If you do this without warming up, it's pretty excruciating. But once you're warmed up, it should be okay. That's why we warm up first. Keep sinking that hip towards the floor. And let's come back into our toe hamstring stretch. Inhale forward one more time. If you can, lifting that foot and stretching the front of your thigh. Nice, even breaths. And down, and let's come back into town. Give your hands a rest. And again, if you want to circle them in front or behind. All right, let's come back into our table position. We're going to do sunbird again. So send the right leg out behind you. Lift that leg up. Bend your knee towards the ceiling and lift a little higher without rotating your hip. Just keeping your hip rotating towards the floor, but lifting the thigh. Bring your opposite arm in front of you or reaching back and grabbing your foot and coming into a little bit of a twist and a balance here. Nice, full breaths. And let's bring that leg down. One little shimmy and back to center. Send the other leg out and inhale it up. Bend the knee and lift that leg. Reach your opposite arm alongside your ear if that works for you. So we're lifting the knee, but floating the hip towards the floor. And if it works for you to reach around, grab your leg. Spin your body as you lift your leg. Lift your chest. And come back down and back into child. We're going to come into downward facing dog. So let's come back at the table. Again, if you want to do this on your forearms, if your wrists are getting tired, you can do that. Hands are a little bit in front of your shoulders. Let's press down into the full circle of the palm. Let's draw the belly in, turn the toes over. Inhale the knees up just as high as your heels. Press your chest back towards your thighs to get a nice long line. Lifting the tailbone and only then moving the heels towards the floor. Perhaps warming up the legs a little more by pedaling them. 
And then lifting the heels, lifting the tailbone, pressing the heels back down, but keeping that nice long spine. Reach through your side body. Imagine you're being pulled back by your inner groins. Feel your shoulder blades flattening on your back. Keep that weight pressing evenly into the palms as your weight goes back. The tendency might be to rest in the heel of your hand, but you want to keep that weight pushing forward evenly into the whole palm. One more breath here. And down into child. If you want to do any of these poses in table instead of a down dog, please honor your body that way. Inhale back up, bring the hands in front of you. We'll come into down dog once again. Reaching back and hang here for three breaths. And then bring your knees to the floor and send your, I'm going to do left leg so I can face you, left leg back and spin that foot to the floor, swivel your other foot out behind you and come to your side stretch here, your gate pose. You can bring your upper arm alongside your ear and spin your ribcage towards the ceiling. Come back down. Let's change sides. So send your other leg out behind you. Swivel that foot to the floor. Swivel your other foot out. Inhale. Open up. And bring your arm alongside your ear, pressing down into your foot and having a nice long line through your side ribs as you spin your rib pitch towards the ceiling. Bring that hand back down and either take another down dog or go right into child, whichever you prefer. And meet in child. do the second set of that. Let's inhale back up into table. I'm going to send my left leg out first so I can face you. Spin that foot back. Inhale back up. So we stay here for a moment and you can go into the earlier variation if you'd like or you can bring that leg up. So just like we did in Sunbird, we're reaching out through the heel drawing the shoulder blades down the back, spinning the ribcage towards the sky. Press that thigh back and engage the leg, reach out in all directions. Bring that leg back in, bring the hand back in, and we'll change sides. Send your opposite leg out. 
Roll the foot to the floor. Swivel your heel out. Inhale, reach up. Again, you can stay here and choose the first variation that we did or reach out through the heel. Press that thigh back. Engage the leg actively. Pressing down into the four corners of your hand, if you want to call the corners of the full circle of your palm. So you're feeling that way even in the hand. Creating strength and balance. And down. And back into child or another down dog first and then into child. Let's inhale back up in the third variation. So getting nice and long, we'll send the left leg out, spin it over, send your other foot back behind you. Open your chest nice and wide. Again, you can stay here, you can stay here. You can lift your foot up and reach out through your heel. Press that thigh back and open your chest or bend your leg, grab your foot and press your thigh back that way. Spin your head and look up. Keep the shoulder blades sliding down the back and towards each other to expand your chest. Feel your wonderful balance here. Drawing earth energy up your arm and leg for support. Pressing your thigh back. Beautiful. And let's release. And go right to the other side, sending your leg out, spinning your foot, choosing your variation, one, whoops, <laughs> two, or three, or four, grabbing the foot, pressing the thigh back, rolling the shoulder and the chest towards the ceiling. Drawing earth energy up your arm and your leg. Gentle five count breath in and out. And let's release and press back into child. You can take a down dog on the way if you like. We're going to come up into downward facing dog and do a down dog split. Again, you could do sunbird if you don't want to come into down dog. Take a nice deep breath and press back into downward facing dog. Mukha Svanasana. Draw those inner groins back. Press into the full circle of your palm. This time we're going to bring the feet together to create a three point balance. And we'll inhale the left leg straight up. So the same thing we did on the floor, reaching out through the heel, rolling the hip down, but lifting the thigh up. Keep pressing back towards your standing thigh. Keep breathing. And let's bring that leg down. Do a quick little shimmy with your knees back. And then we'll come back into our down dog and do the other side. 
Inhale on the other leg up. Roll the hip down, but lift the thigh. Keep pressing evenly into the whole circle of your palm. Flatten your shoulder blades. Breathe and smile. <laughs> And down, and back into child. So remember, you can do this whole series in sunbird again, doing a second set of sunbird, or you can do this on your forearms. So find the variation that works for you. We're going to do one more with down dog here. So bring your hands a little forward. Take a breath and press back. So we're going to bring the feet together. Send the left leg straight out behind you. This time we're going to bend the knee and lift that thigh a little bit more. And we're going to lift the thigh so much that the hips roll until you're stacking one hip over the other and you're pressing your thigh back. Turning your chest away from your standing leg. Keep pressing it to both hands evenly because the weight's going to want to shift to the back hand. Big stretch as you reach your thigh back. You see the knees bent. There we go. One more breath here. You're doing great. And let's bring that leg back. And down. We'll take a break here because that was more challenging. Come into child. Circle your wrists if you need to. Are you ready for the other side? Last one. We can do this. Let's turn the toes over. Inhale, stretch back. Bring the legs together. Send your opposite leg out. For me, it's the right leg. Again, you can stay here or bend your knee. Lift your thigh and lift it so much that the hips start to lift and you roll your hips one over the other, pressing your thigh back. You can't see that very well, I'm sorry. Keep pressing evenly into both hands. Five count breath. And inhale yourself back down and back into child. You did it. That was Good job, everybody. All right. Can your wrist take one more? We're going to switch over to a reverse table. Bring your hands to the floor behind you. Again, you can do this on your elbows. Maybe we should. I think I'm ready for elbows. Take a nice deep breath and lift those hips. Keep 
drawing the back of the thighs into your body. And building strength in our arms and legs. And slowly come down and give yourself a hug. You earned it. Mm. Rock from side to side. And let's go right into an inversion. Since we did a lot with our hands and legs underneath us. Nice counter stretch, counter balance. No weight on the hands and feet at all. If you want to circle them and give them some nice loving attention, go right ahead and do that. Five more seconds. And come on down, give yourself another hug. Maybe a little rock. We're gonna come into reclining pigeon. So let's place the feet flat on the floor. Pick up one foot and cross the ankle over the knee and float the knee away. You can stay right here and bring your hand to your thigh, or you can pick your foot up off the floor, grab the back of that thigh, and use your elbow to push your opposite knee away. Flex both feet, breathe. Relax your shoulders and your face. You can straighten your leg if you like, or grab your leg above your ankle, or even grab your big toe. Just don't get your upper body tight. Keep pressing this knee away as you pull the other leg towards you. Feel your body softening around the stretch. We'll stay here a few more breaths. And let's release. Bring the feet to the floor. If you like a little windshield wiper. And then come back to stillness, pick up the other foot, float the knee away. You can stay right here, pressing your knee away, or pick up your other foot, reach back and grab your thigh, press your knee into your elbow. Soften your face and shoulders. If 
you like, stretch up towards the ceiling. Pulling your leg in towards you and pushing your bent knee away. If you like, you can hold above your ankle. If you're super flexible, you can hold your big toe, but don't let your upper body get tight. You can push this knee away with your head. You're pressing your pelvis into the floor. Draw earth energy up your body from your back. We'll stay here for several more breaths. Softening around the pose. And release. And one more windshield wiper. And one more hug. We're going to transition into pigeon pose. Now, if you like, you can do a second set of reclining pigeon or roll over and come to the back of your mat into child pose. Now, why don't you just sit up in Thunderbolt for a minute instead of child, because I want you to see you have lots of options as to how you're going to come into pigeon today. So the simple, easy way, of course, is just come into table and slide your knee forward. But if you would like, we'll start on the right leg, so I'll be facing you. You can come into downward facing dog. Bring your feet together. Send your leg out behind you. Come up way high on your toes and swing that leg through into pigeon. So find your way into pigeon this morning. Put your square to the front, dropping the pelvis towards the floor. You know, walk the hands back. So staying in proud pigeon right now. Try not to collapse. Even if you're very low, think cobra, shoulders back, heart lifted. But if you can come vertical, go for that, dropping your hips. If you need to pad yourself under this thigh or under the opposite hip, do that. Now for a little more challenge, we've warmed it up. If you like, lift that back heel. Breathe into it. Dropping that hip, breathing, beautiful. And let's release that down. And let's unwind back into child. When you're ready, coming into table, again, you can just slide your left foot forward or come up into downward facing dog. Bring your feet together. Send your leg out behind you. Come up way high onto your toes and swing that foot through. Drop your hips. Walk your hands back, coming into a nice proud pigeon. Keep sinking your hips towards the floor level, patting yourself if you need to here or under the other thigh. Again, not collapsing. Even if you're low, slide your shoulder blades down your back and lift your heart. See if you can come up nice and tall, but do what's best for you without collapsing. Think Cobra. Reaching out through your back heel. And if it feels safe to you, lifting that heel up. 
dropping the hips. And we'll lower the foot and press back into child and submit. Do one more set. You can always stay in child if you've had enough. So remember from table, you can simply slide yourself forward or coming into downward facing dog. Keep the feet together. Inhale your right leg up. Come up high at your toes and slowly that foot through. Dropping your hips, squaring them. Shoulders down, heart lifted, coming to a crab pigeon. Let's lift that leg if you feel up to it. And if you feel up to it, reaching back and grabbing your ankle. Spinning your body towards your leg. Dropping your hips. Spinning some more. Look at how beautiful you are, how open you feel. And let's release and press back into child. And last side, and again, if you're tired and need to stay in child, that's perfectly okay. So you can come into pigeon this way. So I think I need one more. Come into pigeon this way. Whichever leg you didn't do. I lost track. That's why I have you remember which side you're on. Or coming from down the facing dog. I think it's this one. And swinging through. Dropping the hips. Shoulders down and back, coming nice and square. Finding your proud pigeon today. And then again, if you like, lifting that leg. And if you feel really open, reaching back and grabbing your ankle. Dropping that hip even more, spinning even more. Breathing and smiling. And release and press back into child. And when you're ready, roll over onto your back. And bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. We'll come into an easy spinal twist. Just open your arms and 
Lower your legs, stacking one knee on top of the other, and turn your head away from your knee. Inhale back to center and lower the knees the other way, turning your head away from your knees. Surrender your weight into the floor. And come into Shavasana. As you feel your weight surrendered into the earth, become aware of your bones. You feel the strength of your bones, your earth element.
And slowly begin to bring some movement back into your fingers and toes. Gently move and stretch in whatever way feels good to you. And when you're ready, roll to one side. And press yourself up to a seated position. <clears throat> 